all you need to know. The Bloomberg Quint podcast that prepares you for the day's business. Good morning. You're nearly at the weekend. Here's everything that you need to know to help you spend just a little longer planning it. This is the daily morning update from Bloomberg Quint and I'm Alex Matthew. Today is the 20th of September. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman met with public sector banks yesterday and when she finished the meeting, she told reporters that the banks have been instructed to not declare any stressed micro, small and medium enterprise as a non-performing asset even after 90 days of a default till the 31st of March 2020. Banks already have this power under the RBI's existing provisions, Sitaraman said, adding that the government has only invoked these guidelines. Reserve Bank of India Governor Shaktikanta Das said that there's room for interest rate cuts to spur economic growth given stable and below target inflation. Speaking at the Bloomberg India Economic Forum in Mumbai, Das said that a surge in oil prices following the supply disruption at a Saudi Arabian crude facility will likely be contained and won't pose a major challenge to monetary policy or inflation. Of course, the rate decision will be taken by the six-member Monetary Policy Committee of the RBI. In the aviation space, air passenger growth rebounded in August but remained weak. The number of passengers flying Indian Airlines grew at 4% compared with last month. That's the worst pace in August in at least six years, according to data compiled by Bloomberg Quint from the Directorate General of Civil Aviation. In an effort to reduce debt taken on by his private business entities, Yes Bank promoter Rana Kapoor on Thursday sold a 2.3% stake in his bank for 337.3 crore rupees, bringing down his family's stake in the bank to 7.4%. The stake was sold at a price of 58.16 rupees per share. Mutual funds and non-bank lenders agreed to give SL Group up to six months more beyond the 30th of September deadline to repay debt, according to a person aware of the details. The Z Group promoters have serviced nearly half of their liability by selling assets. It turns out that wage growth across India's industrial sector moderated for the fifth consecutive year in 2017-18, according to the annual survey of industries that was released by the government. Per capita wage growth for industrial workers rose by just 6% in the financial year ended March 2018, compared with 6.2% in the previous financial year. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has said that intensifying trade conflicts have sent global growth momentum tumbling toward lows last seen during the financial crisis and governments are not doing enough to prevent long-term damage. The Paris-based organization cut almost all economic forecasts it made just four months ago as protectionist policies take an increasing toll on confidence and investment and risks continue to mount on financial markets. The OECD sees world growth at a mere 2.9% this year, the lowest in a decade. And speaking about trade wars, China and the US are talking trade again. Negotiators have resumed face-to-face discussions in Washington, while the Trump administration says that a Chinese delegation will visit American farmlands next week. The talks are expected to lay the groundwork for top-level negotiations between U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer, uh, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and Vice Premier Liu He in October. In international markets, U.S. stocks ended mixed yet again. The Dow dropped over 50 points, while the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq ended flat. The three early rises in Asia, though, have begun positive. With that, it's over to Darshan Mehta for the trade setup for the day in India. Morning, Darshan. How are we looking today? Hi, Alex. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Global queues are muted at this point of time. The SDX Nifty is also indicating a flat outlook. But certain stocks that we need to watch out for. Yes Bank was down 15% yesterday. The promoter Rana Kapoor's entity, Morgan Credits, sold in 2.3% stake or close to 5.8 crore shares. The share sale was to prepay debt uh, to Reliance Nippon AMC. And Kapoor family stake now in Yes Bank reduces to 7.4%. 
Access Bank will be in focus. The QIP worth $1.4 billion is now launched. The base price is fixed at uh, 661.5 per share. Obviously, there will be a little bit of discount on the QIP pricing. PSU banks will be in focus. The government announces new measures for retail and MSME credit. The focus is to push liquidity to the end consumers during the festive period. And banks will not declare any stressed MSME account as NPA till 31st March. Reliance Home Finance, in which Brickworth rating has downgraded the company's rating to a default for the company's debt program. NMDC sets fine prices at 2460 per ton and lump iron ore prices at 2700 per ton, effective 19 September. IIFL was uh, listed yesterday. Small Cap World Fund acquired 13.8 lakh shares in the company. IFL Securities, the third part of IFL's holding, will get listed today. Also, watch out for the critical GST meeting today. So watch out for some of the auto names, some of the cigarette names. So they will be in focus today. Some bit of brokerage news. Uh, Goldman Sachs has said uh, that they've removed Avenue Supermarts from the conviction list, but uh, they maintain a buy as the structural drivers are intact. Credit Suisse says that HDFC Bank is well placed despite the macro slowdown environment. The target price is 13.50. CLSA on MGL says that there is a big 45% discount to IGL, which is unwarranted, and they buy. They recommend a buying with a target price of 1.275, which is a 50% upside. And Macquarie has come out with a note on Page Industries. They've said that the lower cotton prices to cushion margins, but they maintain and underperform on account of weakness in the demand environment. The target price is 16,000. But there's much more you need to know before trade actually starts. For that, log on to our website, bloombergquin.com and click on the All You Need to Know tab and you will be prepared for morning trade. Thanks, Sarshan. Well, that's all we have for you on this podcast. But as always, there's a lot more on the website, bloombergquin.com. So don't forget to check it out. This is Alex Matthews signing off. Have a great day and an even better weekend. I hope you enjoyed listening to All You Need to Know. Did you know that you can listen to this show on the IVM Podcast app? On the IVM Podcast app, along with this, we have a number of other shows which you think you'll enjoy. Listen to Cyrus Says with Cyrus Brocha as the host. Listen to Pesa Vesa with Anupam Gupta. The Scene and the Unseen with Amit Varma or Shunya One hosted by Shiladiti Mukhopadhyay and myself. Check out the IVM Podcast app to get more talk content that you will enjoy.